Monkey. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of When We're How Red Lip Fashion with me, your host Tiffany. So, this is another um, series of my Always Bring a Bottle drink edition. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own homemade amaretto. Okay? It's very simple, it's very easy, and you get to make it and just say that you have something that you've made for yourself that you made on your own that is gonna taste delicious. You can add amaretto to anything, um, to any drink, definitely to um, a lot of warm drinks. So drinks that when it's cold outside and you wanna add a little bit of amaretto to it, you can do that. Amaretto is one of my favorite um, kind of like liqueurs, liquor, because um, I love that almond -y spice that it has to it. So the simple ingredients, all you will need is water, um vodka i'm using amsterdam vodka good stuff so you need water vodka you need pure granulated sugar and you need dark brown sugar you need almond extract and vanilla extract okay so i already went ahead and kind of started some of it um because you need to like cook the sugars for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes and then let them sit for at least another 10 to 15 minutes. So I already went ahead and did that. And that's what I have here. So I have my water, my dark brown sugar, and my granulated sugar. So I use one and a half cups of water. I use two cups of the dark brown sugar, and I use one cup of white sugar, okay? And my white sugar, I don't use pure white sugar because um, I don't really, you really shouldn't be using that. So the sugar that I use, I use the Domino brand of, it's it's pure, it's golden sugar. So it's supposed to be like less processed, which is a little bit better. In my head, it makes it a little bit better. So that's what I use. Um, so you can go ahead and use that, it works just the same. So that's what I already went ahead and did here. So I already mixed it and um, I already let it sit. So what I'm using, I'm using my good old Ikea bottle here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour that into your bottle, like so. There we go. So we already took care of that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, add in your almond, your almond extract and your vanilla extract, the vodka you add in last, okay? So I'm, you're gonna use two, sorry, you're gonna use two cups of the almond extract, I mean two cups, two tablespoons of the almond extract. So I have my almond extract here. Most likely this is gonna be about two cups. I mean two tablespoons, why do I keep saying that? So I went ahead and used my two tablespoons of my almond extract and then you're gonna use one teaspoon of vanilla extract okay make sure you don't miss mix up those s's and p's the b the b and the p because it, it'll make a big a big difference so that's one and two so two teaspoons of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of almond extract and then last i'm going to add my vodka so i am using two cups of vodka um, and you're just gonna pour that right in. And then all you have to do, just give it a little shake. So I'm just gonna close it so that we can secure. And I'm just gonna give it a little shake just so that all those flavors mix in well. And then all you literally have to do is just let it sit for at least at least 30 minutes like if you need to drink it right away or use it in something right away at least let it sit for 30 minutes but i would let it sit for a whole day store it in a dark space so like put it in the back of like your cabinet or you know under a table like somewhere where you know it's going to be dark space store it in a dark a dark dry space not you know don't let it be a moist space so a dark dry space and 
at least for a day. I let mine sit for at least for a day. And then you can use it the next day or use it at, you know, to your liking. You can add it, you know, to an amaretto sour. You can add, it's pretty much like making your own Di Serono. And that's where I kind of got the idea of like, I need to make this because why buy, spend $30 on Di Serono when you could just make your own, right? So that's pretty much what I did. So here is my very own homemade amaretto and you're gonna love it definitely try it for yourself and do it in a drink and let me know what you think and be proud of yourself that you made liquor that you made something for yourself okay thank you so much for watching guys and hope to see you next time bye